Hi. Long time no video. Um, I thought I'd come on here because Defemaremba is up on us again. If you don't know what Defemaremba is, my suggestion would be to have a look at Junk Journal Art, Louisa Heinzel's channel and Barbara's of 49 Dragonflies. It's a collaboration between those two. Um, basically what it is, they give us prompts and we'll follow them. This is last year's, my journal from last year. I was fairly new and I'm not going to go through all of it. Uh, just have a quick flick through and comparison to my journal for this year's Defemaremba. Defemaremba being ephemera that gets made in December. Very clever. So I'll have a quick flick through, as I say, just a reminder. It's a bit of a um, gator mouth. Oops, sorry, let me just move the camera back. It's a bit of a gator mouth because I really went to town. I learned an awful lot. And if you are new to junk journals or even to Defemaremba, I suggest very much having a go because you will learn even if you think you know everything you will learn something and i have learned a lot so my problem is that i take things literal so fluff and mason jar which was the first uh, prompt i had no idea i mean i know what a mason jar is and i know what fluff is but how was i going to combine this um I had no idea. So what I do is I watch the videos with the prompts and then I sit on it and stew for a little while. Um, and yeah, and uh, then eventually it will come to me and, uh, and I come up with things then. But it does take time, you know, and this was like memories. What was this prompt? This prompt was something about memories. See, this is the, and metal. I know that's because there's metal down there. But this is like this year is going to be, I'm going to have a different metal and photo. That's what that was. I'm going to have a different thing I'm going to do with the prompt list which you will see later in a bit so but yeah I mean you know I know there is loads of people out there that do this and I am uh, there is a, a, a an unofficial defemaremba for beginners group in on Facebook if you look for it there's a little dragonfly in honor of Barbara um, yeah, so all, and this is from like for Louisa Heinzel. So, yeah, so it's all sorts of different things. Doing all sorts of different things together. Put different uh, gator mouse card. Oh, I love doing that. I made a couple of cards to send to people with that. But as you can see, that's another one. I love this. I really do. As you can see, I. Um, reuse papers. I, I, I take the junk journal again, literally. It's like junk, Christmas wrappers, old, pe old pieces of paper, piece of cardboard, waste of cardboard, bit of a rusty spring. So that's what I do. That's how I do mine. You don't have to have a brand new one. You can, if you want to, if that is your thing then by all means do but i um prefer shall we say literally using junk so this is where i struggle a little bit on the prompts now this year if i remember um, barbara and louisa have decided to use um a5 ring binders and I have seen the video, what I think, which I think gave them the idea. And that is the one by um, Nature Spirit Journal, Nicole. 
and I have wanted to make one after watching that video, but I just not got round to it. So anyway, then I watched Barbara's and, and Louise's video. And um, when I then went to Amazon to have a look to buy a blank craft uh, uh, binder, I came across this one. And this one came already, excuse the noise, came already decorated. So I had the idea, I thought to myself, I'm going to make it easy for myself and I'm not going to do anything with it at all. I'm just going to put defemerembra on it and be done with it and then just fill it. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've been seeing people decorating their, including Barbara's and Louise's, decorating their defemerembra journal. And I thought, hmm, do I or don't I? And I decided, no, I'm going to keep it to a minimum because I really, really don't, didn't. I, I, just, I just really didn't want to, basically. But then I got a bit, <laughs> then I got a bit carried away, like you do. So we've got the whales, we've got the seaside. So, and then I did this because, you know, um, I had got the idea from uh, Nicolette uh, um, Nature Spirit Journal. And yeah, that's fine. And I like, you know, sort of tatted it up a little bit, the corner, because it's going to be used quite a lot. So it's probably going to get bashed. But the inside was incredibly boring. And of course, let's not forget Effie, which has got to go in here somewhere. Well, it doesn't have, he doesn't have to go in. But I wanted him somehow. So this is what I have done on the inside. I have a little pocket. I've got some pockets. I've got a pocket here and a pocket here. And look who is there. It's little Effie hiding. If You can't really see it. Can you see the reflection? He's got his air helmet his glass helmet on um so he is okay underneath the seven seas as it were i think i used um a couple of louisa's brain cells there to come up with that one making up a little story so this is what i've done it's not going to be under world underwater world themed but I just wanted to carry on from the whale theme, as it were. And I also made this tie, which I think I'm going to get fed up with, but I've made it anyway. So it's only for for when, when it's finished, really, when, when it gets closed up, to be honest, because, uh, you know, to tie it up. Um, crochet chain with a couple of um, sea underworld water type bits and bobs on it um, and of course a little nod to dragonflies as well so this is what I have done Barbara had these for sale uh, a while back uh, 49 dragonflies a while back and I was simply not fast enough I would have otherwise I would have done it but being a crafter I managed to do it myself um, so yeah so that is um, my defemerember really so now we're waiting for the um, prompts which are going to drop on the 20th of November and then we shall see how we go from that. It'll be uh, interesting again. But I must admit, I really love how this turned out. Including little Effie. I think it's just the cutest thing. Yes. Oh, and in case anybody wants to, I've also got my scrap basket, which is quite difficult to show you here which is this one here. I made the scrap basket, fabric scrap basket. 
So yeah, so I'm all set for the Femaremba and I hope you are too. And the links to all videos and the playlists and whatever will be in the uh, description box at the bottom. I will include the one, the video that um, Nicole from Nature Spirit Journal did. So you can have a look at um, what she's done with her ring binder, which set this, which is, I think, what gave them the idea. So I hope that you're going to take part at uh, December, and yeah, have a good week. Bye-bye.